What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your Shopify store. So I will be using a minimal theme for this video and in the previous videos I have already covered a lot of themes so if you have not watched uh, those videos you can watch those videos I will be adding the links below in the description or maybe uh, in future I will be uploading those videos if those are not covered. So if you are using a minimal theme then it's uh, this video is for you of course. So the important thing is that earlier I was also uploading a lot of videos related to this but I have updated some code and uh, in that in this code actually you will be getting uh, the new feature which is like when uh, your customer is purchasing some product then you will be getting uh, the product details into your PayPal receipt and from there you could able to get to know that which product has been purchased by your customers. All right. So one more thing is like I will be adding the link below in the description for my uh, blog from where I will be copying the code. So it is a lot more easier for you to just copy and paste the things and then uh, you are good to go. So let's get started. So first of all, you can see on my screen that I have cart page. So below here you can see PayPal buttons which is simple PayPal and then, then debit or credit card. If I will refresh this page then you will no more able to see those buttons uh, because uh, I have removed the code. So I will be showing you step by step that how you can put the code into your uh, Shopify store. So uh, you can see here I have this uh, blog written here. So uh, I will be following this blog and you should also uh, copy the code from here. So here is the dashboard of this uh, Shopify store. So first, first of all you need to click on online store. Then you will be getting this option of themes. Click over it and then on the right hand side you will be getting an uh, option of action. Click on this drop down and you will be getting edit code. So just click on edit code. Then after you will be redirected to uh, folders and files of the uh, theme. So here you can see that we have uh, layout, templates and sections. So click on templates or maybe sections. Then you will be getting a uh, file name car, uh, called cart-template.liquid. So just click over it and then you will be getting this uh, line of uh, number of lines of code here. So we will be copying uh, the code over uh, in this file actually. So let me show you how. Here you can see that uh, this is the blog. I will be adding the link below in the description. So you just click on it and then uh, follow the steps. So that in the first step I am going to copy this first line and let's paste it on the first line. So on the top, very top, you should paste it. Then after you have the second step, which is this uh, script tag. So the whole code you have to copy and then paste it at the bottom. But you should make sure that uh, above this schema, you should put that uh, script tag. I mean paste that tag, which we have just copied from the second step. Then after you should copy this third line of code, third part actually. So this is PayPal button container. So just copy it and paste it below this specific code button type equal to submit. So let me show you where it would be. So here you can see that button type submit. So above this you should paste this code which we have just copied. And now let's save these changes. And let me show you how it would be looking. Now you can see that we have this these PayPal buttons and we have also update cart and checkout button. So we need to uh, redesign these things and for that I have some more code. So you can go ahead and follow the fourth step which is like copy this specific code from here and then after paste it on the top. So on the top you have to paste it on the second line. All right. So now let me save these changes and let's refresh this page again. Here you can see that we have PayPal, debit or credit card and then update card button as well. So for example you are interested to uh, remove this update card button as well. So I have already writ written some code so now you can see here like which is update which is button. So on the top let me show you. Here we have input, you should just change it to button. So I will be modifying the uh, code over here. You just need to copy and paste and then everything would be uh, working. And now let me save these changes and let's refresh this page again. 
So here you can see that update button has been removed. For example, you are interested to keep that uh, checkout button as it is. So for that you need to remove this these line of codes and then save it and then after refresh this page again. And here you can see that we have checkout button appearing here. So if you don't want then you can again undo the changes and refresh the page. So here you can see that it is it has been removed. The final thing here is uh, that we need to replace this client ID. So on the first line you can see that we have added client dash ID equals to SB. So you need to replace this SP with the actual live client ID of your PayPal. So from where you will be getting I have added the link below here in the fifth step and you should follow this video. I have actually uploaded one video so you just follow this video and you will get that specific client ID and once you are getting that client ID then you should copy and paste it in, in, uh, in the place of SB. So just replace this SP with your actual live client ID so that you could get, collect the amount from your customers. Alright, so this was the way through which you can do all the things and the final thing is that I wanted to give you the reference of the uh, code from where I got. So let me show you uh, official document of the PayPal. So you should uh, you should write here developer.paypal.com forward slash demo forward slash checkout. Just enter the um, uh, press the enter key and then after you will be redirected to this specific official document of the PayPal. So I have actually copied the code from here and from responsive and something like that. So I managed somehow so that you could not be confused and I made it uh, so beautiful and put it over here so that you could just copy and paste everything and the design would be ready for you. All right. So if you are still facing any specific issue, feel free to ask me the questions below in the uh, description, below in the comment section. So I will definitely uh, giving you the reply as soon as possible and I will be also adding the link below in the description for this uh, client ID video so you can also watch from there so if you are new on this channel then please like this video and subscribe this channel as well so in the future videos I will be discussing more things about Shopify and there are a lot of uh, problems so if you are thinking you have any suggestion for the video so I will be uh, making that video uh, first of all so thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.